Hello. Okay. So I was trying to make sure that you could see me. Um, alrighty. So I have uh, your last thing that we are going to do. Um, that was the last thing on my list for you for this week. So we are talking about money. We're going to work this week and the next week through some money. Um, it's really important that you know how to use money in our culture. Um, we have pennies, which are the brown ones. They're shiny coins. Um, pennies, they're worth one cent. A penny, it's worth one cent. Um, and then we have nickels, which are worth five cents. Here's your nickel here. And then we have dimes, which are 10 cents. And these are smaller. And then they have like the scratched on the edges. I don't know if you can see that or not. Right. Yeah, there you go. So those are dimes. So we've got pennies, nickels, and dimes is the first phase that you're going to talk about. And what you're going to do is you're going to put the totals together. Usually you start with the biggest value of coin, even though the dime is actually the smallest of the three. It's got them. It's worth the most. So uh, 10 and then you can add 10, 10, however many. And you're going to go up and you're going to add till you find the value of the coins. So you have right here. So you see this? You've got a penny is worth one, a nickel's worth five, a dime's worth 10. So 10, 20, 25, 30, 36, 37. Okay, so you're going to tell me that monetary value. And then what I want you to do is I want you to put the first the biggest coin. So 10, 10, 10, 10, 1, 1, 1. And then here you're going to 10. 20, 30, 40, 41, 42, 43. Do you see? So you're going to put how much each one is worth, but then down here, you're going to write the value of it as you're adding up. You're counting up. Okay? Then what you're going to do is you're going to write yourself a little number sentence here to tell me how much money he has. Okay? Um, I think you can handle it. I don't think it's too bad. Just make sure that you're counting on from here. So this is 10. Then you're going to do 20. 30, 40, and so on. Okay. Um, the next one we're going to do is quarters. Now a quarter is worth 25. A quarter is bigger. Um, it's got Washington, George Washington on the front of it. And here's your quarter right here. It's so nice of Mrs. McDonald to bring me this money dish borrow and show you. So here's your quarter. A quarter's got the same kind of thing on the edge, like a dime. Um, but you've got your quarter here. Quarter is 25 cents, and as you're counting, it goes 25, 50, 75, a dollar. Okay, so counting on here 25, 50, 75, a dollar. Okay, and then the same thing here you're gonna start with the biggest coin, a quarter, then you're gonna do the dimes, then you're gonna do the nickels, and you're gonna count on 25, 50, 65, 70, 75. 580 so on okay so you're going to go and count on but put how much things are worth here in this first one that I hope that makes sense to you um, and then here you have these sets of coins that are the same value as a quarter so like looking here a quarter is worth 25 cents right so you've got one quarter here is 25 cents but you could also do one dime two dime that's 20 and a nickel That's 25 cents. So one of the things that I like to think about is even though these coins are different sizes, which one's easier to keep track of? Well, the, just the one coin versus the three coins, right? So 25 here or this two dimes and a nickel is 25. There's more um, ways you could do that. You could do two dimes and five pennies. You could do five nickels. Five nickels is 25 cents. So it's kind of thinking out what kind of coins can make the same amount of money as the other one, okay? Um, and then after quarters, after pennies, nickels, quarters, um, you're gonna just, how can you add different things to make money? So let's just say here, this one that says, um, Lisa and Leah bought a pen for 50 cents. What's one way you could do 50 cents? You could do two quarters. What about five dimes? What about um, 10 nickels? However, you wanted to do three different ways to show that you could do one of these is 75 cents, I think. So you could do um, two quarters, two dimes and a nickel. That is still 75 cents. It's just more coins than three quarters. OK, um, and then here is when we are adding dollars. Dollars are the best, right? So you got one dollar. You can write it this way. One dollar here, 
one here, or 100 pennies, 100 cents is also a dollar. Okay, and then five dollars is like here and here. See, make sure you're using your units. Make sure you're using your dollar sign. Make sure you're using your cent sign. If you look here on this one, um, let me see if I can find it. Um, here it is. It's on this next page. But if you look right here, do you see that little C with a line through it? That is cents. So you have your dollars here on the side, dollar, and then here you have the cents. Okay. So on this one right here, we're doing dollars. How many quarters is a dollar? How many dollars? How many coins make a dollar? Um, circle the amount of dollars. And then here on the back, we're going to actually add some money. Make sure that when you're adding, this is important. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to write it here. When you're adding, because you're, the next page is adding, you have, let's just say you had a dollar, 75, and then $3. Make sure that your decimals, your little points line up, okay? So that when you add five, seven, you bring your decimal down at four. We know that it's $4.75. The decimal never changes spots if you're using it there, okay? It never moves around or anything like that when you're adding and subtracting coins. Um, and then the same thing for subtracting. If you are doing subtraction, let's just say you had uh, $4.50 and we're subtracting a um, $1.10. Same thing, you need to make sure that your decimal lines up here, okay? So you got zero, five take away one is four. And then four, take away one is three. And you make sure that you have your dollar signs and your decimals and they line up, okay? Um, and then that is a good lead into your next lesson where you're gonna have these word problems. And it's a little tricky because you have to read the problem and make think about the steps. So here you go, you have, um, and one way you can do this is you can draw the money, okay? So it says Hudson had $3, two quarters, a dime and a nickel, okay? So you can do a $1, $2, $3, a quarter, which is 25, um, two quarters, so 225, a dime is one, a 10, and then a nickel, so a five, okay? So that's $3, two quarters, a dime, and a nickel. So that is $3.50, 60, 65, $3.65, right? Then he used one of his dollars. So we're gonna cross off one of those dollars. So we're gonna take away $1. Do you see how I put that decimal? I lined up that decimal right there at the bottom. I lined it up so we can subtract. It's 65, cause that, and then three take away one is two, $2.65. Okay, so when you're doing these problems, you can draw them out with dollars, like make squares and circles and write them, or you can just write the problem right in here, okay? So that's what you're gonna do in this page, and that's it for math this week. Um, we're just doing money, and we're gonna do more money next week, the next week, and then there's a test next, the next round of school, there's a test. Now, because it was, it's going to be a four day weekend when you're working on this, you can take that time and then just finish up as you finish up the next week. Okay. Don't feel stressed and rushed. Um, I'm going out of town and, um, I'm going to make a separate video for that. Okay. I'll talk to you soon.